Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can create an online test as an instructor in VizIQ. So the first step is you will log into the platform as an instructor. Once you log in on the top left menu, you will find the option of tests. Under the test page, you can see the list of tests which you have already created. And on the bottom right, you will find an option of creating a test. This is step number one for creating a test wherein you will have to enter the title, description, instructions and define the basic settings for your test. Let's say this is a test on mathematics. I can put some description as well as the instructions. Then you see the basic settings page wherein you can start defining the weightages. You can decide whether you want to have a negative marking or you do not want to have. If there is a negative marking then how much percentage of marks will get deducted corresponding to every wrong answer. You can choose it from here. You can also decide whether you want to have a time duration for your test or not. So let's say I want to make it available for 15 minutes. If I click on the advanced settings then you find few more options which you can define for the test. So the first option is how many attempts do you want to allow the students? Unlimited or fixed? If there are fixed attempts then how many attempts? Then what is the validity of the test? It could be any time or you can also specify a timeline. Do you want your learners to pause the test while they are attempting it? You can choose it from here. Then there is an option of review test attempts which means once the test is over do you want your learners to review that assessment? And while they are reviewing do you want to show them the correct answers or not? You can choose it from here. And last setting is shuffling the sections, questions and the answer choices. Once you have defined all these settings you will click on next. In step number two, we will start adding questions within the assessment. So there are multiple ways using which we can add a question. Let's get started with the first option which is adding questions one by one. So you can see here there are multiple choice written and spoken wherein we have essay type and then we have fill in the blanks. Let's get started with multiple choice. This is the place wherein you can enter the question title. Then you have multiple options which you want to give to the users while they are attempting. And before you create this question, you need to validate as to which particular option is the correct option. So let's say for this question, option number B is the correct choice. So I will choose it and I will click on create and you will see that a particular question will get added as a part of my assessment. So this is one way of adding the questions. The another way of adding questions is you can choose it from an existing test. So we'll click on here. Then you get to see the list of all the tests which you have already created. Let's say I want to pull questions from this particular test and I will click on add questions. So the moment I have cloned an existing test, then you see that all the questions which were lying in that particular assessment will now become a part of this particular test. So this is second way of adding the question. The last but not the least we have from CSV file. Now this is very handy when you are adding up a lot of questions and you do not want to create them manually. In that case you can simply choose a file and upload a pre-existing CSV format. Once the CSV gets uploaded you get to see that 5 out of 5 questions have been imported successfully and you also see that the sections were created as per the settings which were defined within the CSV file. Let's have a look on how you can create your questions within a particular CSV file. So we will download the file. Once you open it up you can see there are basic settings defined which you can go through before you can start adding up questions and you have an option wherein you can define multiple sections here then you can start adding up your questions. So the first field is question title the second is answer choice number one and if this answer choice is a correct answer then you will write yes corresponding to this. If this answer choice is not the correct answer then you will write no corresponding to this. Similarly you have answer choice number two, answer choice number three and so on and so forth. Now out of these two three answer choices whichever answer choice is the correct choice you will have to write yes corresponding to that and you will have to write no to rest of the options. So this is how one by one you can start adding up questions. Once you have added questions you can save it and you can upload your CSV file just the way we saw a while ago. Once you are done with adding up of your questions you can click on next and finally you will have an option of publishing it. So 
let's go ahead and publish this test immediately you get to see a successful message informing that your test has been created we'll close this window and refresh the page and you see now that test on mathematics has been created now whenever you want to use this particular assessment within a course you can directly go to the schedule and clone the existing test and that is how you will be able to utilize all the questions which we have added in this particular assessment thank you so much for watching this video tutorial i hope that this video will help you in order to create an online test as an instructor in VizIQ.